What did your mama fix you when you didn't feel good? Well, my mama. Low battery. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> so, what did your mama fix you when you didn't feel good? Well, I know what my mama made, and it was chicken noodle soup. So we're gonna make chicken noodle soup today, but it's not gonna be out of a can, trust me. We're gonna make some Dutch oven chicken noodle soup today. So you guys hang on, here we go. chicken noodle soup started today and uh, I got my 14 inch Dutch oven and I've got it heating up and we got about three big old chicken breast and we got them chopped up finely so we're gonna begin to cook these and simmer that meat down and We'll let that stew up a little bit and then we're going to add some carrots and some celery and some onion and a few other things. So we'll be back with you here just shortly and show you what we got going on. Okay, well, we've had this uh, simmering for a little bit. We got about, I'm using my 14 inch Dutch oven. So in order to simmer and roast like chicken or whatever to make a soup, uh, Generally what I usually do is I divide my amount of coals. You double your coals and then divide them. Uh, I got like 14 hot coals on the bottom and 14 on top. So, oh yeah, that's simmering real good. So let me go ahead. I've got some carrots and some celery and I got a little bit more chicken in here. I had one chicken breast left and thought I might as well go ahead and use it. Wasn't no sense in just saving one, was there? No, so anyway, like I said, you know, mama used to make chicken noodle soup for me when I was sick or didn't feel good. And today we've got some people that uh, not feeling real good. Uh, some friends of ours have been going through quite a bit. Some of them's had to quarantine and this, that, and the other. And, and uh, so Teresa asked me this morning, she said, I know you're gonna be making a video soon. Won't you go ahead and just uh, make a, a pot of chicken noodle soup for everybody and we'll just take it to everybody and, and uh, try to help heal them up a little bit. Cause you know, chicken noodle soup's healing. I don't know what it is about it, but there's just something in it that is so good. I know every time I get sick, that's the first thing I want. I want me and Teresa to have a big old pot of chicken noodle soup and uh, of course like I showed you the can earlier I don't want to make it out of a can if unless I have to and uh, I don't typically do it this way but today I just bought six big old boneless skinless chicken breasts and I diced them up real good and uh, I took a package of carrots diced them up pretty good took and diced up uh, two medium yellow onions and uh, also diced up a whole bag of uh, celery. And the other thing I'm gonna add to this, of course, we'll end up putting some chicken broth in here. We're gonna let this boil down a little bit, but we'll put some chicken broth in that. We're gonna add some parsley to it in a little while. We're gonna put a can of cream of chicken in this. We're gonna put our SPGO salt and pepper and garlic 
powder and onion powder in there. And we're gonna add a little bit of herb poultry seasoning. I'm gonna add thyme, you know, chicken needs thyme. Everybody says, how much time does it take chicken? Well, I don't know, but a chicken needs thyme, so we're gonna put some thyme in it. And then I'm gonna add a couple bay leaves in here too. We're gonna let that simmer for a good while, probably about 45 minutes or so. And that way these uh, carrots and, and uh, celery and the chicken will be uh, cooked good before we ever put our egg noodles in. And uh, I've got a bag of egg noodles here. Once this all gets done, we'll add these egg noodles to it. And then we'll come back to you and show you what that looks like here in a little bit. Well, all right, this thing's been cooking, stewing and boiling and everything else for about an hour, hour and a half. So, man, look at that. Let's stir this up. Oh yeah. So while you were gone, or while we were gone, we went ahead and added all of our vegetables and our spices to this Dutch oven chicken noodle soup. And uh, everything looks like it's cooked real well. The chicken's done, the carrots are done. And so we're gonna go ahead and probably leave that lid off for a little bit and add the rest of these, or add these noodles to it. And, let them cook real good and uh, it's just a bag of egg noodles wide egg noodles and so i'm gonna put the whole bag in here this is a big pot of chicken noodle soup get this stirred up these old egg noodles they'll absorb a lot of this liquid out of here so Get that stirred up and let them cook for about 15 or 20 minutes or so. I'm gonna go ahead and put this lid back on and we'll let that cook for a few minutes and we'll come back to you here shortly. All right, well, it's been about 20 minutes and so those noodles ought to be done. I got Miss Teresa out here with me. We're gonna take a look at this. And, oh yes. That's looking real good right there. All right, well, I tell you what, I think I'm gonna dip a little bit of that up and we're gonna try this. Got our Campbell's soup cup here and Man, this stuff right here, I guarantee you, is a lot better than Campbell's soup in a can. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Sure looks good. I got a bay leaf right there. Oh, yeah. Looking real good right there, folks. Let me go ahead and put this lid on. I sure don't want some of these pine cones to fall in my soup. And like I said, we've got several people that's homesick, quarantined or whatever, and we decided to make a little bit of soup for them and take to them. Like I said, when I was sick and everything growing up, mama always made me some chicken noodle soup. And so we got some here that we made in a Dutch oven, and we're gonna give her a taste test and see what it's like. You ready, Miss Teresa? Yeah, it's hot. Mmm. Yeah, folks, you can't beat that. Nothing like some good old Dutch oven chicken noodle soup. And that is so good and so hearty. That's healing in a cup right there. You know, in these times that we're living in, we gotta help our neighbors out and help our friends and family out and everything. A lot of people going through a whole lot. So, you know, this is a lot bigger pot of chicken noodle soup than I normally make. But Teresa asked me before she went to church this morning if I would make one and we can take some to those people that shut in and different things going through a whole lot. So that's what we're going to do, folks. And hey, we appreciate it.
there's going to be some videos pop up around my head here somewhere click on one of them and check out some of our other videos my picture will show up down here or down here i'm not sure where but anyway you can click on my picture if you're not subscribed to our channel click on that and you can subscribe it's kind of like on facebook you know how we friend somebody so if you click on that you'll be my friend okay well we appreciate you guys y'all have a great day it's mike and miss Teresa over here at mr cast iron